retired today, uh, fired field manager Clint Hurdle. Clint was here nine years. Uh, he got a fired to the playoffs three years in a row, wild card game, but he couldn't get further than, further than that. Uh, Clint grew very still in Pittsburgh. The team gave up on him this year. One of his uh, classic uh, second half second half meltdowns. Uh, the guy was stale. The game passed him by. His old cliches didn't work for him, and the team basically uh, they gave up on him as well. But Bob Nutting comes out with a statement: they're retaining general manager Neil Huntington. That's what I, me personally, have a major problem with that. Neil's been here 12 years, hasn't can't develop players in the minor leagues. The pirate pitching staff is a disgrace, and I don't know what they're going to do next year. Three to three guys have over ERAs over five. Tyon's out next year. And this is, how can Bob Nutting trust the GM like Neil Huntington, who traded Garrett Cole, who's going to probably win the Cy Young this year, 320 some strikeouts for four spare parts, no impact back. And then that's when Neil Huntington should have been fired. And then he wouldn't have had the chance to trade Austin Meadows, only 24 years old, 33 homers this year. Tyler Glass now, 26, pitching lights out. And the Rays are going to the playoffs. And the best of the bunch is just yet to reach the majors. He's still an A-ball. Power pitcher will be a stud, Shane Bass. And for that, you retain Neil Huntington. Not to mention signing Lonnie Chisinau, 2.75 mil, who never stepped on the field. Uh, Jung Ho Gang, 3 mil, who was released. And then Francisco Cervelli, who was paying 11 mil, which is given away to Atlanta because the Pirates didn't feel he could catch. That's all on Neil Huntington. But Bob Nutting believes in him, and uh, in my personal opinion, nothing will change. Nothing whatsoever. You're going to bring back the Cal Starks, the Larry Broadways, the Greg Smiths, and that's a problem. Peace out.